Dexi is a robotics company, and we are developing a novel product that is a robotic sous chef. There's a massive need to increase the productivity of chefs and give them the tools to prepare meals for hundreds of people. It's the first time in human history where we're able to autonomously assemble meals. Over the past uh, 50 years, the way we eat has really changed. Restaurants have become much, much more popular, which is great, but there are more than uh, a million open jobs in uh, kitchens uh, today in the United States. And there's just not enough people to, uh, to fill those positions. So in this environment, right, where you have huge turnover, there's an opening for the robot to sort of enhance the chefs that are in there. Think of the robot like a, like a tool, like Photoshop for an artist. And that's what the robot is doing for the chef. Alfred is designed to go into kitchens and boost the productivity so that these restaurants can stay afloat and even exist right now. One of the core challenges is how do we get the robot to be able to uh, satisfy food safety regulations? With the industry that we're in, food service, there's a lot of extra regulation that comes into play when you're designing parts, mechanisms, electronics to be interfacing with people, to be interfacing with really rough environments. In food service, you have to satisfy all of the necessary regulations so that people don't get sick. You never want to use a peanut scoop to serve any other ingredient because of peanut allergies. So it's very important because our robot uses utensils, the utensils have to be stored in the containers. Additionally, you want the utensils to be able to move with the food. And that's so that the utensil stays at the same temperature as the food. We've designed something that allow the utensils to continue to be in contact with the food. So this is probably one of the more complex static designs. We used SolidWorks essentially to give us this very useful environment to basically have the utensil in an assembly form and see where it's going to go in the physical space. SolidWorks forms the core actually of the, uh, of the product because uh, everything is based on this digital twin of uh, the robot. Moving towards 3D experience was a long time coming. We're able to build a digital twin of the product and so everybody can see that uh, and, and when they make their changes, other people can immediately uh, grab it. I still remember the days when we were passing CAD files back and forth, like in zip files. This is not productive at all for figuring out how your subsystem interfaces with the rest of the system, right? The fact that it was cloud-based, um, it was super modular. All these features made it alluring for us to switch over to this type of paradigm instead of the more traditional server room type paradigm. And I really don't think it would have been possible to get to where we are now in terms of the development of Al Alfred without experience. After a week of using the platform, I like would never go back and can't imagine kind of, kind of like reverting to the way that we used to develop. Well, we're starting with a robot in every restaurant and then eventually a robot in every kitchen. So the future will be your home, Alfred. I'm excited for that journey. And I think we have all those tools already available to us, which is super exciting.